Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today we have a new series, a new show thrown into the mix of the rotation on this channel. And Hasbun Hotel has been something that was recommended to me once, but that's all I need one time. And uh, yeah, I want to react to what y'all you know want to see. And this series has been something I've been seeing on my For You page, on my recommended, on YouTube, everywhere. I've been seeing the series everywhere. And I do remember seeing the other series that was made by the same creator. What is it called? Hell, Hell of a Boss. I remember seeing, not watching it, but I remember seeing that pop up and just seeing it be really popular. Just I, It came out of nowhere. I don't even know like really what it's about. I know like what takes place like in hell or something like that, but I don't really know anything else about it. I think it's like a little bit of a musical and it's like 18 plus, something like that. That's like all the knowledge I have about this series. And, you know, uh, the creator, you know, she started off, I think on YouTube, right? With Hell of a Boss. And then now she created this other series, Hasbun Hotel, which is now on Amazon Prime, which is cool to see, you know, uh, independent, you know, uh, animators and just uh, things originally created by one person. I think just one person, right? Just come about and, you know, get popular and get on a platform like Amazon Prime. That's pretty big. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, uh, nothing more much to say. Just excited to get into it, see what this is like, because I have no idea what this is. I'm getting into this blind. So, yeah, we're going to check this out. Hell of a boss, hell of a boss, has been hotel, episode one and two. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this first episode called. What's the first episode called? Uh, overture. All right, man. If y'all like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Let's get into it. Has been hotel. Created by Vivian Merdano. Merdano? Did I say that right? Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation, but he was seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven. So is it going to be telling the story of Satan? ...created Adam and Lilith, equals... And Lilith. But despite this, Adam demanded control, and Lilith refused to submit to his will. She fled the garden, drawn in by her fierce independence... So I'm assuming Lilith is going to be the main character? ...found her and the two fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, who gladly accepted but this gift came with a curse for with this single act of disobedience it's an interesting approach found its way into earth with it a new realm of darkness and sin and the order heaven had worked to maintain was shattered as punishment for their reckless act heaven cast lucifer and his love into the into hell that every year they would send down an army an extermination to ensure hell and its sinners could never rise against them. But Lilith's hope remained, and her dream was passed down to their precious daughter, the princess of hell. Okay. The story of hell. I'll make you proud. Also, Lilith is her mother. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just thinking, you know, family stuff. Did you hear from your mom yet? How long has it been now? Not that long. Only seven years years Damn. off doing something important i'm sure but i doubt it she really cared about all right come on alistair says he has something to show us well, there, you damn <laughs> okay i gotta remember this is like a it's not just some regular you know cartoon why you're in hell but what would you say if i told you there was a place to stay that had none of that welcome to the has been hotel hey why is it crooked like that she tries to work through her daddy issues by fixing <laughs> but things such as somewhat functional staff and somewhat functional oh, custom rooms and just look at this tacky parlor. Bro, this place is about a break. Your last desperate attempt at salvation starts here. I mean, what other option do you have, to be honest? Maybe the tone is a bit off. We want people to want to come here. This makes it look... I mean, where else are they going to go, though? Like, I mean, it looks terrible down here. And everyone remembers me from my radio show, uh, the proper medium to express oneself. So I had a little fun with it. Oh, fun? You had a little fun with it? Well, this is not what we want to represent us. When you showed up here a week ago, you told us you would help run this hotel. And he just got here a week ago? What? If and if. Oh, this the one resident? Can I suggest you take better advantage of the talented celebrity you have right here? Angel, and who are you? Porn. A famous porn star? Wow. 
<laughs> not as crazy. Get in. We are not filming a porn as a commercial. <laughs> Imagine. Sex <laughs> don't it? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Going at it with Mr. Fancy Talk Creepy Voice here, you'd be rolling in participants willing to stay at this tacky hotel. I don't think so. I feel like it'd be the opposite. Don't want to exploit you in that way. Oh. Is it really exploiting if, like, body was made that's what i'm saying like i got the arms i got the stamina i got the legs i got the lung capacity oh i got the legs the gag reflex the whole the gag reflex <laughs> if freaky face over there is so powerful then why can't he just make people stay here i can't oh think i'm here you actually think I oh here we go what do you run the bar Fucks bitch and moan all the time if he wasn't forcing me. I like being forced. So keep that to you. Hey, yo. Call me whiskers again and I'll jam that bottle down your throat. Kinky. <laughs> he said, is that a threat or a promise? We're in hell, toots. That's kind of the end of the road, ain't it? Well, maybe it doesn't have to be. You're trying to turn this place around. Yeah, I'll head over there right away. Okay. Huh. Yeah. So are you ever going to hear him talk? My dad just called. He said that the leader of the angel army wants to meet. He asked if I could go instead. Is she ready for this? <sighs> what could they want this soon after? I can do th True. Oh, here come the music. I'll get heaven behind my... Okay. Charlie, hold on. Hold on, let her cook. Yeah, I could blow it. Mm-hmm. Not this once in a lifetime change. It's just a... Hey. Change their minds and touch their hearts or whatever angels have. This could be. <laughs> Is it just me or she look? You sound like Elsa. Okay, but just don't sing to them. That bitch is halfway down the street. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny, bro. That bitch is halfway down the street. <laughs> hey, yo, what was he doing? You know, this place looked terrible. I mean, it is hell. Day. It don't look like it. What is required, we all have our role. Ah. If I can show them the mm. dream I Yo, no, she low key cooking though. Has been hotel. Dang, it's so high up. Hey, hey. I don't know why, but a, like a little bit, but not really. Like, y'all you know, remember that one show, Disenchantment, I think it was called on Netflix? Like a little, little vibe. I guess like the mature vibe, I guess. Hey, I can show Ah, bro, that sounds painful. I don't want to imagine that. I can already tell. I can already tell this series is about to be hilarious. Damn, damn. Oh, what? Creepy. Like I was like opposite. Obviously, she used to being down in hell where everything is just as it is. Hellish, so everything up here is like weird to her. Everything down there is just so, blah, you know? <laughs> so I'm happy we got this opportunity to meet. There's a project I've been working on that I really want to talk to you about. That hotel. How about some lunch? You hungry? Some lunch. Bro, you do not want to go to lunch with her. Here's my personal favorite. You'll love it. Oh, some ribs. That looks, oh, of course. <laughs> I got you again, bitch. <laughs> We are making a new commercial, one that represents her vision and what we're doing here. First, I need to fix up the place, like... Alistair? A video camera? Uh. All right, let's do this. Hotel. Bro, you gotta remember the lines. You over there reading the script. I've been a bad boy. It could work, though, you know? Strong daddy to put me in my place. Well, you come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. It's horny. Bro, he can't go a second without making any, any sexual jokes. So I was playing this gig, and for some fun. Oh, he's still talking? Call me Dickmaster. Adam, you seem like a smart. Dickmaster well, is crazy. Stand up guy, leader of the angels, and you are. He is not hearing her out at all. It's a solution to our biggest problem. Oh, herpes. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> herpes. <laughs> Global warming? Now, wait, that's Earth's problem. Uh. No, wait, that's Earth's problem. <laughs> All right, Nifty, Nifty, Nifty. Yo, she's so violent. We have the cleanest rooms. I mean, I guess they all are. Never mind. Action. 
the hell happened to her? Uh, cut. <laughs> How was that? What the hell? Nifty, you actually have to say the line. So let's roll again. Is she good? Cut. All right. Uh, maybe we can try to fix it in post. Do you even know what that means? I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seeing wasteful souls struggle to accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly, like Damn. you are doing now. Here is Alistair, the egocentric piece of shit that. Ugh. I wouldn't try that, my dear. This face was made for radio. Damn, I bro, chill, my fault. You think I'm that stupid, making a deal with a demon like you? Not for your soul, just a I was about to say she finished up her soul. I do this for you. Never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology ever again. I like how his voice is just like in that radio like sound. Your choice. I like he's like switches it. Fine. Can you finally give her a good camera? Like broken ass camera. There we go. Nice. A proper crew, proper equipment. Proper outfits. Charlie over here struggling. Check, like, hey, <laughs> Get a word out. I'm of overpopulation in hell. That covered loot. How many demons did you kill? That's about said like overpopulation. I'm they killing y'all off. That's population control right there. Those are my people. You know that, right? Oh yeah. That must suck for you. <laughs> That's so That's so crazy. Souls, human souls, just the same as the ones you have up in heaven. They are not the same. They had their chance and they earned damnation. You're wrong. Sinners made mistakes, sure, but everyone makes mistakes. Angels don't make mistakes. You really think that? Okay, I've got a lot to get through and not a lot of time and I- Yep, make your pitch quick. I know hell's population is out of control. It's a bad situation, it's taking a toll. If we rehab these sinners and cleanse all their souls at my has-been hotel, and it must be annoying to slip all the way here. If they join you in heaven, that trip disappears. If they come back with a song. Suggesting is letting them climb up the ladder. Oh, they'd rather. They not feeling that. They're burning for their lives until we kill them again. Just try to chillax, babe. You're wasting your breath. If they kill them, do they come back and where do they go then? Damn. Hey. Hey. Why are these songs actually good, though? <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I should get mad now. Fuck you, I do what I want. <laughs> she didn't even get to talk. Barely. They listen? Oh, uh, they sure did. Hear it. We have something exciting to show you. Oh, yeah, the commercial. Did they finish it? One of my better performances, if I do say so uh, myself. I just, I just know he was doing some crazy things in that commercial. Who's in hell today? 666 six, six News. Receive word from the heaven embassy that the next extermination is happening sooner than ever. Do you know what that means, Tom? It means we're all royally fucked. <laughs> 176 days. We found the body, sir. Whose body? Never managed to kill one of us before. We should just go down there now and destroy- Oh, an angel's body. Risk them catching on. Don't worry. When we come back, there won't be a demon left alive to pull a stunt like this again. Catching on to what? Just angels cutting our timetable in half, but who needs a whole year to save souls, am I right? And next time when they cut the time in half again- Time is of an essence. Right? Yes. Yo, she is stressing. You had less than half a chance when you started all this salvation bullshit. Like I said, everyone's losing their shit. Yeah, that's true. Sinners are desperate. Desperate? Maybe desperate enough to try anything to escape the extermination. <gasps> False advertisement. That's, that's what that sounds like. <laughs> Time to recruit more sinners for the hotel! Are you really gonna go out in all of this? Well, it's not like people are just going to show up on our doorstep. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Who is this? Come and face it. Dr. Eggman of Hell? Face my wrath! Who are you? Who am I? Serpentious inventor, architect of destruction. Well, if all that's true, you'd think I'd have heard of you. <laughs> you 
the almighty Vs will finally acknowledge me as their equal. Ooh. Wait, who are the Vs? Oh, nobody important. The Vs. New Vox Tech designer voyeur scopes. Peeping on the neighbors has never been more stylish. <laughs> Vox Tech. The music. Yeah, I fucked your sister, so what? what? Is brought to you by Vox Tech. Trust us with your entertainment. Megan. Trust us. <laughs> Trust us. That's modern media today. That's just the news in general, to be honest. Damn. Oh my gosh. Yo, her arm. Oh yeah, and here I go, Valentino. Just another fucking day with Val. Hey, hey, hey. Fuck my life. <laughs> Angel Dust live. My dear people, we at Vox Tech Enterprises have always been at the forefront of innovation. Innovation. Sound like Apple. We are shifting our focus to your protection. We are pleased to announce Vox Tech Angelic Security is coming soon. Trust us. Always got to add that trust us. It's that manipulation tactic. Which whore are we talking about this time? Fucking angel <laughs> dust! Who the hell else would I be talking about? Without me, he's just a bag of meat with some mildly entertaining holes. Uh, angel quit? Mildly, no! Yo, that's the old... quit! It's Whoa, worse! Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you doing, Val? You're not going over there. You finna... Every twin? You finna shoot up the place? Him. I'm gonna fuck everyone in that rancid shithole, I swear to God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Our brand is perfection. And what do you think chasing whores around town will do for our image? Fuck it up? Yep, exactly. Do you want people thinking you can't control your employees? No. You should... Do nothing? Great idea! <laughs> I really wanted to shoot someone. Well, let me call up the lowest earners this month. The lowest earners, oh my gosh. The radio demon is there. So they got some beef with the radio demon? Did you just say? You heard oh, he does. Alistair came back and he... He did say he was back. And that wasn't the first fucking thing you told me! <laughs> what beef does he have with him? I think he's had enough! <laughs> Yo, they both crazy. Alistair and the one news reporter, dude. That fucker is back! Yeah! What did he do? It's been seven years! You still pissed? He almost beat you that time. Uh oh, they got like a little rivalry? I wonder where he's been all this time then. Cause he said seven years? Where was he at? Where could he have gone? There's a brand new dawn. Turn the TV on! Has been, who has been spotted cavorting around town after a seven year- Okay. Did anybody notice? More on tonight's- How did he- how did he leave? In town. Why is he hanging around? What does that mean for your family? Hustle, but the demon is a coward! You can coward? Oh, he probably ran during one of the attacks that happened yearly. Stop giving him the time of day. Don't listen to a word he'd say. While he hid in radio, we pivoted to video. Mm, so he kind of went out of business because they make televised news now. Tensions, good to be back yeah, we'll on the air. Yes, I Ain't nobody listening. Style treated oh. hell to a broadcast. Sinner for joy. Instead of a cloud chasing mediocre video podcast. I get it now. The rival the rivalry is the business. I mean the only reason like his business is thriving, his televised news business is thriving is because he manipulated them. I'll show you suffering. Uh oh, the TV is buffering. I'll destroy you. All types of glitching. And I stay gone. Damn. Tune on in when I'm done. Your status. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Is run. Oh, Yo, that is terrifying. Fun. <laughs> oh, hell no. Fuck. <laughs> we need someone who Little Miss Bleeding Heart would take in. Why, hello, my dear. Dang. <laughs> it's on site. Welcome to our home of healing. I feel like she capped, though. The way she said is like... Are, are you fucking nuts? This chump was trying to kill us, like, literally six hours ago. <laughs> bring him in here to live with us? Absolutely. This place is about second chances, and who deserves one more than this? Not much of a threat without the war machine. 
or That's even with think. the war machine. True. Never mind. True. <laughs> Serpentis, welcome to the has -been Hotel. I give you a week. Tops. Okay, first person, nice. You're an important part of our family here, Angel, but you, um... Gotta put in some work. Constantly make us look bad, sexually harass the staff, and have literally never once tried to improve? What she means is it's... That exactly. <laughs> Ain't no sugar coating it, that's, that's what it is. Over here, we have our maid, Vifty. <laughs> The bad boy is back. Never leave me again. We're about 80% sure she's harmless. 80%. <laughs> You're the one who ruined my coat. I definitely remember you now. Yeah, you already got bad blood with him. That's, that's not a good first impression. You apologize. The first step to becoming a better person is to admit when you are wrong. Why? So she really going to try to help all of these people? I wonder if it's going to work. Um, radio demon, sir. Please forgive me for attacking you and ruining your very lovely coat. A little game. Everyone, follow me. My name is Charlie. I like to sing. <laughs> two things about you, two facts. Greatest thing! My name's Serpentius. I like to build. And despite my stupid egg boys, I think I'm very skilled. This is stupid. This is not stupid! It's just the game! <laughs> I am too sober for this. Well, get used to it and learn how to play. This is gonna be your whole day. <laughs> you look like a kid who could use some devil's dandruff. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Huh? I have to go home and study. Come on, kid. It'll make you cool like me. Only cool thing here is to say no to drugs. Gotta start running some dare classes. At this rate, you'll be redeemed in no time. Really taking a foot in the right direction, for real. I'm going to bed. I am so proud of you, Sir Pengis. That was amazing. Thank was you. Cute. Is he good? You use him as the first testimony. Put that in another commercial. Angel, baby. Oh, those are who all the voicemails are from. Ah. Come back. Angel, you bitch. If you don't come home, you will be fucking greasy truckers for the next year. Hey, Amorcito, I didn't mean to yell, but you know how crazy you make me. You fucking slut! <laughs> Just back and forth like, oh, I'm sorry. Ah, fuck you. Ah. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Oh my you God, actually bro. think you can change. Attic trash like you doesn't change. Oh, because he doesn't believe it himself. Oh, see, I knew it. I knew it. You're working for the V's? <laughs> There was something shitty about you. I don't know what you're talking about. It was a little too easy. He was getting, you know, he was falling along. Oh, ooh. you got four hands. How are you losing? Or how are you not? Oh, uh, then they, then she's gonna see that it's gonna look like what it's not. Traitor, preposterous! I would never betray you. Oh, my best friend. Just in need of oh damn, just gave it up just like that. You were caught? It hasn't even been a day. Please, you've got <laughs> Yeah, he's not gonna help you the way he laughed at you. Handle even something this simple. You do us a favor. If they don't kill you, do it yourself. With yourself. Damn. Miserable failure. Now that you hear that, now you can use that as fuel to actually get better. That I deserve it. Gladly. Wait. Benches? I mean, her whole goal is to help people out, so it's like, Starts it'd be wrong for her to kill him right here. That's your foot in the door. One simple sorry. Spoken straight from your core. That was genuine. Path to forgiveness is a twisting trail of hearts. Can't we just kill him? Shoot him and spill. Damn. Y'all look how dramatic this is. <laughs> Take a foot in the right direction. Sorry. Yeah, them songs and vocals always hit. Why are you so lame? Not a bad boy. <sighs> Good first day. Let's get some rest. Just like that.
You'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, okay, okay. Okay, it, it seems pretty cool. It seems pretty cool so far. I didn't know what it was going to be like in the first episode. Kind of threw me off because I wasn't really expecting it to be like, you know, the story of like, you know, heaven and hell and, you know, the fallen angels and then all these people in hell, you know, trying to get redemption or at least Charlie trying to make this hotel to get people in hell to get redemption, which is an interesting, you know, it's an interesting uh, take and like approach to kind of, you know, heaven and hell and just kind of like the story. Mm, okay, 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 okay. That's the first two episodes. The singing, the voice acting is on point. The humor is <laughs> this is funny. I'm gonna like this is hilarious. Uh, I literally for a second I kind of forgot that this is like an adult, like you know, 18 plus show. And then like when they started cussing, it kind of threw me off. <laughs> but uh, no, this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. If y'all want to continue this, let me know. I have finished this series. It will all be on my Patreon if y'all would like to go get early access to that. But uh, yeah, this is the first two episodes. Uh, it was enjoyable. I liked it. Uh. So I'm 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 curious to see what this series has in store. It's only eight episodes this first season. I don't know if it's gonna have another season or if this is just kind of like a one season, one and done type of thing. But uh, yeah, let me know y'all's thoughts on this series. Let me know uh, any information about the creator because I'm pretty sure she was or is like an independent animator, right? And she created a hell of a boss herself, or maybe she had like a team behind her. I'm sure. Obviously, she had voice actors and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know about that. But th this was cool. I like this. Let me know if I should continue this series. Appreciate y'all for watching. Excited to check out more of this. If y'all if y'all want to see it. And yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in my next reaction. Peace.